Good morning, friends. It's Wednesday, May 18th. I hope that you are well. I wanted to begin uh, this e-news with uh, reading from one of my favorite psalms. It's Psalm 46. It's just one I turn to often to be reminded uh, of God's grace in my life. And it, it reads this. The Word of God says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. I really uh, appreciate this psalm for many, many reasons, but the, the underlying uh, foundation for me is that we need not be afraid. We need not fear because God is ever present with us, even in times of trouble. And what I appreciate about the psalmist here is that he recognizes that um, even the person who is seeking God will have times of trouble in their life. It is not a promise that our life will be trouble free. And I know you know that, uh, but I just wanted to remind us not to be surprised if there are seasons of darkness and difficulty. But even in the midst of that, we are assured that God is our refuge and that God is our strength. So even when we don't feel strong, we know that God is strong within us and God is strong for us. So I want to encourage you, particularly if this is a season that is hard or dragging on or you just don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, Remember that God is with you in the valleys and he promises uh, he will be faithful even in times that are challenging. So this summer we have two new staff people that are coming on board. Elizabeth Dolan is gonna be our interim director of children and family ministries. Uh, and Rick Methvin is gonna be our summer ministry intern. So I'm going to turn this over to Rick this morning and let him introduce himself to you. And I hope that you will take the time and, and really take the initiative to introduce yourself to him and meet him sometime soon. Good morning and welcome. My name is Rick Methvin. And as Dirk said, I'll be the uh, summer ministry intern here at Elfin Wild Church this summer. I'm really excited to be a part of the church, and I've met so many of you members already. Uh, I've only been here three days, and I've had plenty of warm welcomes, but uh, I'm really excited to uh, be here longer and uh, meet the rest of you that I haven't met already. Uh, so approach me. I, I try to be very friendly, so say hi, and uh, I'll be glad to meet you and get all your names uh, before I, I end for the summer. Um, just a little bit about me, though, uh, so you know who I am. Um, I come, I'm not from Pittsburgh, I'm not native to Pittsburgh, uh, but I am a big Pittsburgh fan. My dad went to Pitt University and my brother's at Pitt University, so I'm a Pittsburgh fan. But I come from State College, uh, Central PA, Belfont, if you, if you know where Belfont is. And uh, back home I live with uh, my mom and my dad. Uh, we have a dog named Toby and then my two siblings. Uh, my brother is, as I said, at Pitt and my sister will be attending uh, Messiah college uh, here. Uh, she'll be a freshman this coming fall. Um, as for me, I go to Grove City College and I am a junior at Grove City, which is where Dirk went, so it's always fun to talk about that. But uh, I'll be studying, or am studying, Christian ministries as well as biblical and religious studies. So uh, obviously on the ministry goal there, and, um, and that's part of what this internship is for me here at Elf and Wild. Um, continuing on that path, uh, that I feel I've been called by the Lord to pursue ministry and, uh, and working with Dirk, uh, being directly under him and, and shadowing him uh, has already proved helpful uh, through these, these past three days of me starting and uh, really looking forward to uh, learning from not only him but the, the rest of the congregation and, uh, and gaining wisdom as I continue uh, in following my call uh, serving the Lord. 
Um, so again, super excited to, to be here, and I, I do want to thank you for having me this summer and providing me the opportunity to pursue that calling. Um, but uh, super excited to, to meet everybody that I haven't met yet, um, but uh, super great to be here. So thanks to all of you. Friends, one of the great gifts that we can give to the church that's larger than just us is to uh, invite and have people like uh, Rick and others uh, to have an experience here at Elfenwild because uh, in the big picture, Elfenwild is a relatively healthy and strong congregation. And so there is really uh, hope then to have that vision for congregations down the road in other places for the future as people come and have this experience. There's a, a real vibrancy to life here together with our Christian community and family of faith. And so let's not take that for granted and always be willing to be grateful and also to participate in the things that God is offering through the ministry here. I want to encourage you in two ways, specifically this week. One is to remember that this coming Sunday, May 22nd, after the 1110 service, we will have our mission to the community that we have called The Church Has Left the Building. We're asking you to register online so that we know how many people will be here and how many different projects we can do out in the community. So please, if you have any questions, call Becky Winnick on that. The second thing is to look forward to June when we have Vacation Bible School. The deadline for registration and signing up to help and volunteer is coming quickly. I believe it's June 1st. Following uh, my part on this e-news, Nicole Powell has a brief uh, word for you about Vacation Bible School as well. And I just want to encourage us all to take advantage of all the opportunities for Bible study, for service, for worship. It really matters that we continue to commit to the disciplines and practices of being the body of Christ together. Please reach out and let us know if we can help in any way. I covet your prayers for Jeff Roth today as he undergoes uh, the TAVR uh, surgery and procedure. And I pray for Johanna also as she surrounds him with support and love. And there are many others on our prayer list who have things that are ongoing that I hope you will keep in your daily prayers. Let us know how we can be present for you. Give us an email, text, or a phone call. Uh, we love you. We hope to see you soon uh, in worship, either in person or online. Take care. God bless. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Nicole Powell, member of the VBS planning team. VBS is right around the corner, June 20th through 24th. So the team and I wanted to give you some updates. Um, first, registration is open and it is filling up fast. If you have not registered your child or children, you can go to our church website and do that today. Registration is closing on June 1st, so don't wait. Second, we want to thank all of the wonderful volunteers who have signed up already, many of who are already at home doing some prep work for our arts and crafts station. We are so grateful for you to be willing uh, to donate your time and your talents. If you are still interested in volunteering, it is not too late to sign up. We have volunteer slips that are in the queues. You can fill one of these out next time you are at church. This form is also available electronically on our church website, so you can sign up to be a volunteer. And finally, if you are unable to volunteer but still want to contribute, we have a list of items. These are things that we will be using during the week of VBS. If you are able to donate any of these items, it would be greatly appreciated. The list is printed and in the bulletin, so you can uh, check your bulletin from this past Sunday or see it next week. Also, we have two bins with the same list, and they are located outside the church sanctuary uh, entrances. Okay. If you have any questions about BBS, volunteering, signing up your child, or anything else, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can contact me directly or call the church office. We have the great honor to be able to share the great love of God with the children of our church and community. And together, we can make our week of vacation Bible school monumental.
Thank you.